South African President Siri Ramaphosa has declared December 15th a public holiday to celebrate the country's Rugby World Cup win. The Springboks claimed a record fourth Rugby World Cup with a 12-11 win over Old Falls, New Zealand. Ecstatic South African supporters who had called for a holiday to bask in the victory of their rugby heroes will get their wish, albeit a month and a half after the feat. Our correspondent, Calden Ongmu, reports. There was just a seven seconds left and one massive scrum to play to decide the winner of the Rugby World Cup between South Africa and New Zealand. Intense final moments of play. The Springboks led by a point and needed to withdraw a last furious push from the All Blacks. The two lines of forwards locked horns and South Africa won the scrum, making sure it would keep the ball from the ruck prompting referee Wayne Barnes to call an end to a nerve-wracking and gritty final. The Springboks trounced New Zealand's All Blacks. We worked our butts off to give ourselves a, plenty of opportunities to win that. Um, but they're a championship side and once they get their nose in front, they're a tough team to get ahead of. Um, and they took their opportunities. Um, Ultimately, it probably came down to our poor discipline, which hurt us in the end, but I'm pretty proud of the way we played under the circumstances. It wasn't going to be easy. Um, we had to put out a massive performance, you know, given how the All Blacks have performed in the, in the playoffs this far. Um, we knew it was going to take a massive effort. Our boys dug very, very, very deep tonight, so proud of that. And the morning after, South Africa's media gleefully expressed the delight of the triumph. The country and the continent was in jubilation. It hasn't sunk in. No, no, no. It was really great to see people, the diversity of people coming together to make sure that we as a nation, we come together and we support the Boke. And seeing Sia as well lifting the trophy, it was really something amazing. And I can't wait to tell my kids and my grandkids about it. It's an incredible feeling, absolutely incredible feeling. The energy from all the local people, from everyone from Cape Town, absolutely unreal. The first time was so iconic that a movie was made about it. Even the then president, Nelson Mandela, wore a Springbok jersey and cap. It could only be 1995. The fates have prevented rugby's legendary rivalry from featuring in another final until now. And even this was unexpected. It's the first final in which both teams have lost a pool match. The Springboks have surprised nobody. They were big favourites before the tournament and have possibly ploughed the toughest path to the final in tournament history. Their emblem is a native antelope, the Springbok which is the national animal of South Africa. The team has been representing South African Rugby Union since 1891, when they played their first test match against a British Isles touring team. They get the name from the Afrikaans word a spring, which means jump, and the word bok, which means buck or antelope. This is because the springbok has a unique cronking or starting jump where its legs are stiffened as the animal leaps into the air. Since 1995, the New Zealanders and South Africans have played against each other six times at different venues and countries. South African rugby has evolved and the team doesn't seem to pause anytime soon. South Africa's Springbok World Cup win has brought the country together once again. This win has clearly proved that this is not just about the game on the field, but about hope and unity that this country is hungry for. This is Calden Ongo from Johannesburg, South Africa, for We On, World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.